Yo, what's up guys, Jack here, and today I'm bringing you some live commentary on a cheeky little game of Rush on Battlefield 4, would you believe it? Obviously, I post lots of highlights of BF4 and various other games, but not really much of this solo stuff, and it's something that I want to do more of, especially in the future, with future games. Battlefront, for example, I think this style of commentary and uh, gameplay is going to be very popular for Battlefront so I guess I'm just getting in a little bit of practice and uh, yeah this was a pretty neat game of Rush and what I want to do with this sort of thing is as I'm watching the game back I've already cut it up it's not like completely unedited but as I'm watching it back I want to try and explain what the hell's going on <laughs> and why I'm doing it because I think even though there are a lot of solo players, sometimes you can actually play in a specific way to encourage team play and try and win the round, I suppose. Because taking part's fun, but winning is the icing on the cake, I suppose. And Rush is just a great game mode for me to do commentary styles like this. I am playing on my own. I'm not using voiceover. I'm not on TeamSpeak or anything. So this is just me. And... We've pushed up, got the first MCOM, spotted a guy in this little room here. Now the reason I switched to my Glock 18 there is because my primary is the SAR-21. It's got a very slow rate of fire, whereas the G18 has a very fast rate of fire. And in that sort of situation where I can just rush in there, sneak up on somebody, I'm going to get the advantage because I can just come around the corner, hit fire. It's suppressed as well, so I'm not going to appear on the minimap and I can guarantee myself a kill. So we've pushed up, we've got the first MCOM, and now it's time to think about the second set of MCOMs. The first MCOMs are normally the easiest to get, or that's how it should be anyway with Rush. So on this map, Rogue Transmission, there are a lot of snipers hanging around, obviously, on the hills over here. And luckily with the SAR-21, probably one of the most underrated assault rifles in the game, it's an absolute beast at medium to long range. It's got very little kick and recoil on it. If you just tap fire, you can actually be super duper accurate at those longer ranges. And it's great for picking off those recons. I don't know if you noticed as well there, but I'm also running with the small medic bag. So I think after the recent changes to that, it's a better alternative if you want to go with like a run and gun style of gameplay. Because you get the health regeneration a lot faster. Um, if you're suppressed or you take damage and you've got a big med bag down, you actually have to wait a bit longer. But if you've got a smaller one, it should start ticking pretty quickly. It's also good for teammates as well because you can throw it further distances. So now this MCOM is kind of tricky because on the north side, they can actually chill in the out of bounds area there where I, I can't go. Obviously, there's a lot of cover here too. So there could be people in these crates and... Not everyone at all times is on the minimap, so I'm just working my way around, trying to get maybe a flank, pick a couple guys off. I realise, you know what, I'm not going to get that guy. So, yeah, dead teammates here, thinking about maybe going to arm the objective. And those are the recons I'm talking about. <laughs> and I think I'm out of primary ammo now, so I'm kind of screwed. But luckily, this quad bike's here, and that's going to give me a bit of cover. And this is like a good use of dynamic cover. Grenades coming in. Those aren't really going to get to me. And I'm being pushed, which is kind of bad. But we've got the MCOM armed, so I'm doing my best to try and keep people away. Chuck a med bag down. Um, get a revive in. I know that wasn't 100 revive, but in that sort of situation where there's not much time left. And you're in sort of a tricky spot where the MCOM's going to blow soon. Um, it's okay to give like a low revive to keep your squad in the game. Unfortunately, the lack of ammo screwed me over there and I got killed. Tried to pick up another kit. And we're trying to push the same MCOM again. And I've rocked up in the LAV. Take a shot from a sniper there and just give it a little bit of a wiggle. Now check out the minimap. There's a guy behind me. I think he was spied because he didn't actually shoot. And if he wasn't spied, I, pro I probably would have died there. Couple guys over at the MCOM still. I'm very low HP right now, so I've got to take cover. And I need to be like wary of the guys behind me. He was running around on the minimap, and I thought, well, if I run directly into him with 14 HP, I'm going to die. So I w went around the other side of the truck and got in there. Now I've switched to my G18. It's suppressed. 
that guy didn't see me luckily he chucked the c4 on and it allows me here to get a plant on the mcom without being detected because i switched to my suppressed weapon but unfortunately <laughs> i got caught up on the little railings there and taken out there was a lot of bad guys around there so very unlikely that i was actually gonna manage to to get that mcom and secure it and, and defend it so we're back again back again trying to push the same mcom lots of teammates around me now so i'm feeling a bit more comfortable and as you can see on the minimap on that left side just loads of enemies like i got to try and take cover here because I'm very low HP. Grenades coming in, so I'm going to try and avoid them. That guy just ran into me, and I could hip, hip fire him. If he'd have turned around to the right, I'd be dead there because I was quite low. Um, and there, like, that's a scenario where you want to keep shooting and try and get a kill, but you shouldn't. Like, I got, I got the headshot on them, but there was, like, three people looking at me. So if I'd have stayed there, I would have died. But I actually got killed running back on the way to cover. And now I'm revived, and the MCOM is armed. We've got a lot of teammates around, so it's looking pretty good. And really now, I'm just focusing on staying back, but still being at a distance where I can defend that MCOM. Because I don't think you can get behind it there, because there's a big digger thing. So if anyone goes to defuse it, I'm in a position of power here and i would have been able to take them out and thankfully we did well we managed to defend it and that mcom blows up and this stage of rush is kind of interesting because it's in that stage where you've got the two stations and you're just waiting for it to move on to the next but there's always going to be a couple of stragglers and You've got to be careful. You've got to you've got to really clear it out before you move on. So this is what I'm doing now. I'm just checking the minimap, checking the right side. It doesn't look like there's anything there, but on the left side we've actually got someone parachuting in. Also a guy behind that blue crate who's exposed himself by shooting on the minimap and a rocket there came from the top. So there's a guy up the top as well. So there's probably about three or four enemies still pinning us down. And of course at this stage we could be losing tickets. That guy gets sniped, I think, but we got the spot spot bonus on him. Moving up. And I just want to clear this crate out because I'm not sure if there's anyone else in it. So we go in, check the right, no one there, luckily. There's still guys over to the northwest on the hill. So just tap fire against SAR-21, absolute beast and that sort of thing. Now on this corner, see there's a teammate, he gets taken out and there's a dude on the minimap. Now I'm not sure... In this scenario, if he was killed or if he's just camping. So I'm being very cautious. Give that guy almost full res. And as I come around this corner, I just want to check it. Because I wasn't sure if he died. I didn't get a spot assist or a kill assist. So you never know. So it's all about this careful, methodical gameplay. Using the minimap. And being aware of, uh, of the scenario that's in front of you. Now, this part, we don't really have much cover, but it's just one of those maps where you have to get down. You have to push the objective as a team. And if there's enough targets for the enemy, then you're probably going to be okay. Obviously, you can use smoke as well now because they have uh, I think they've changed the way the IRNV works. Or uh, Actually, that might just be in CTE, but um, a head-on approach wasn't working. So I decided, you know what? We're going to use the layout of the map to our advantage. We're going to go on top of the satellite dish because there's lots of holes and alternative ways in to get a flank on the enemy because the, the front head-on approach just isn't working here. Now, I have a quick peek on this guy. He is a bit random with his movement, so I nearly didn't kill him there. And then look at this. Lots of enemies over by that BM com. So I'm not going to take that fight right now. I just need to chill, get a bit of cover and reassess very low hp now so the worst thing i can do in that sort of scenario is peak again i just want to get my med bag down you see it just started healing me right away because it's the smaller one and i'm almost back to full hp already shoot the barrel there make a little hole in case i need to use that in the future lots of bad guys down here and also my teammates are pushing on the objective now and this position here is really nice if you can get up here from the top this is great for this particular mcom because You've got just a, a big overview of everything, really. Like, although there is some cover there for the enemy, if they were to try and defuse that, unless they went prone, I could get a clear shot on them. And, of course, if I had a grenade, I could grenade them. And there we go. We actually managed to take that out. We got teammates, got lots of bodies around the MCOM. And a cheeky little revive for that guy as well, because why not? 
he would have been pissed. I'd be pissed if I if I saw a medic run over me and um, there was no bad guys nearby. So I always try and revive people as much as possible. Now there, that sniper, I actually managed to kill him with my last bullet. And I think I saw him on the minimap, which alerted me to his presence. Another revive there to keep the uh, keep the squad morale up, I suppose. <laughs> now pushing up to the final set of MCOMs. Again, this one's quite tricky because you have to go uphill. But luckily, our LAV is getting stuck in in the midst. Now, you see this guy on the minimap. I decided to go after this guy because if I didn't, he's got like a really nice position on our flank. So we end up taking him out. And that's something with Rush that you really got to instill. Like if you see something on the minimap and you're not sure if it's dead, go and check it out because he was in a great spot there. And that guy obviously just trying to hide and, and wait for people to run past. If you don't clear up the flanks, you're going to get punished. In the future, got a teammate there pushing for the objective, and that's actually the guy that I killed. So he knew roughly where I was, and in that situation, I would have been better maybe uh, being more aggressive and trying to move from where I killed him because he knew exactly where I was, and he gonna be pissed. So I've gone on a cheeky flank round here, round the back. There are lots of stairwells that you can use to get up to the MCOMs. Pick up a couple of kills, just being nice and methodical, checking all my angles, check there's no one around up here. Anyone at the MCOM? No, we're looking pretty clear. No one on the minimap either. Although, towards the south, I think that's where they spawn when they're defending. You've just got to, you just got to be careful. But now we've on the MCOM. I've got myself in some cover. Got a couple of med bags down. Got some teammates here with me. I'm feeling pretty confident that we can defend that. There was actually someone trying to defuse it there, but they were taken out, which is good. So now I'm just clearing the area. Looking around for any bad guys that might want to try and come and defuse. Teammate down there needs some health. So yeah, give him a chuck. Give him some love. Boom, there we go. That's that MCOM destroyed. A few stragglers here on the bottom. And there, that was bad because I was concentrating on someone who wasn't engaging me. And I wasn't looking at the roof next to me. Which is obviously a really good spot for them. Got to revive. So I'm going to run away. I don't want to be shooting at anyone right now. I just want to get my health back and chill. We've got a dead teammate there towards the southeast. That was the guy that killed him. He must have been low HP though because I only shot him like once or twice there in the body. I managed to pick up a kill. But now we're 100 HP again. He's trying to make a break for it. But I just managed to squeeze a bullet there through the grate or railing or whatever the hell that is. Get back to full health again and we can think about moving for the next MCOM. It's already been armed and I don't see many teammates over there. There's a couple of them dying so I'm trying to get over there to defend it. One runs through the fence there. Another. Miss a few shots. Switch to my G18. Now what I should have done there was actually gain cover. Reload my SAR-21 and then go again. But fortunately um, the teammates around that last objective managed to secure it. And there we go. That's the win. We got it. So hopefully that showed you guys just even if you're playing on your own, you can be methodical and get a lot of kills and play the objective. You've just got to be very wary of your surroundings and you can get it done and just try and be a team player, I suppose. Play the objective. And that's all for today, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.